Data is the fossil fuel of AI. But then you've got the hominids. They have a different slope on their brain-to-body scaling exponent. What that means is that there is a precedent, there is an example of biology figuring out some kind of different scaling. Something clearly is different. Sooner or later, those systems are actually going to be agentic in a real ways. Whereas right now, the systems are not agents in any meaningful sense. Just very, that might be too strong. They're very, very slightly agentic. Just beginning. It will actually reason. A system that reasons, the more it reasons, the more unpredictable it becomes. All the deep learning that we've been used to is very predictable because if we've been working on replicating human intuition, essentially, so we've endowed our AIs with some of that intuition. But reasoning, you're seeing some early signs of that, reasoning is unpredictable. And one reason to see that is because the chess AIs, the really good ones, are unpredictable to the best human chess players. We will have to be dealing with AI systems that are incredibly unpredictable. They will understand things from limited data. They will not get confused, all the things which are really big limitations. I'm not saying how, by the way, and I'm not saying when. I'm saying that it will. And when all those things will happen together with self-awareness, because why not? Self-awareness is useful. Ourselves are parts of our own world models. When all those things come together, we will have systems of radically different qualities and properties that exist today. And of course, they will have incredible and amazing capabilities. But the kind of issues that come up with systems like this, and I'll just leave it as an exercise just to um, imagine, it's very different from what we are used to. I would say that it's definitely also impossible to predict the future. Really, all kinds of stuff is possible.